Hi, welcome to the Hooter Homestead. I just wanted to come on here and um, tell people that it doesn't matter how old you are or when you start or even how much property you have um, that you can choose to homestead. There's so many things uh, about growing your own food that are so um, positive. Like, for instance, um, you can do it organically or however you like, really. But you know what you're eating. You know where your food comes from. And um, I wanted to try and encourage people to do the same. We um, bought this place probably... Uh, Five, well, we moved here five or six years ago and started homesteading or gardening, um, should I say, around then. Um, and I loved gardening so much that I decided to get chickens, add eggs to it. Loved that so much that I started to um, can. I used to can uh, when my kids were young, but um, kind of picked up the habit again. And I absolutely love doing our own food. Uh, and it's so easy and had so much fun canning that I decided to get animals and it's a really good story about the animals <clears throat> I prayed because obviously we're still fixing up homes when we bought this place our homes we had a shell home in a, a 1980s model that was kind of destroyed with flooding it was just bad I even fell through the floor um, but there they are there we still have to replace the siding and roof uh, and then that's a show home which my sister-in-law and slash cousin she, uh, and brother-in-law she married my husband's brother we married brothers so we're now sister-in-laws as well which is fine we were raised together I mean her uh, dad helped raise me you know and so uh, no, it's all good. We're used to growing up together, used to being around each other, and it's absolutely so much fun doing this with family. And so we just share everything. Um, and we're doing this uh, journey together, and that's what's neat about it. So I just wanted to kind of show you around, show you the mess. That way, when in a couple years, you can see the progress and show you where we're at. And it is a hot mess. They just moved in, so we have stuff everywhere. We still got to organize because, um, you know, they got their barn stuff, too. So we'll be adding barns, I'm sure. They'll put their uh, barn dominium up in this area. This here is part of the uh, spring garden we're putting in. All this area here will be uh, shade-tolerant uh, plants. Uh, they get the morning and the evening sun, which is great for them. <coughs> And this is the uh, rest of it. I grow obviously enough so that I can can and for two families, uh, we all pitch in. Back here, as you can see, this is all tilled up and stuff too. That will be our corn and okra and whatever else we put in there. You know, I try to, before I plant, I will do pairing, a uh, pairing graph. That way I know where and where, what I'm gonna pair uh, everything with. So, with that being said, let's look. This is our going to be our herb area, and my cousin. That's going to be her. We're all going to do it together, but that's her. Um, what she's going to really, uh, I guess you could call it, major in here. This is where the other eight by eight greenhouse is going. She has it in the blue house, and then we'll start the herbs. This is already garlic that I planted um, you know of course in the spot in the uh, fall and then we're gonna add obviously above ground beds use things like bathtubs for potatoes obviously it's not a herb but it's above ground deal so and then we have our female goats we're fixing to get ready and start the process of amending all this and get her greenhouse up we just put mine up, or should I say ours up, our vegetable garden uh, stuff. And so this little mess over here is a table that we're gonna use uh, and fix and 
course I'll be able to now that we have this up put all my pots and planting stuff that I put it in a pile over here in the greenhouse that way we can pot and do our potting outside for our seedlings because it is so hot in there putting that up thought I was dying um let's go take a look at the uh kidding stalls we have three three of our mama goats are pregnant they're almost ready to kid so we had to build a little section um for kidding stalls my brother-in-law is a pretty darn good carpenter my husband doesn't enjoy it as much but they put this up and it was <clears throat> absolutely we just love the way they did it it's almost finished we still got to clean up the area obviously we got a lot of stuff to clean up that's happening today but here it is when we get this fence up after we clean the inside uh you see this fence here mamas and babies will go in here so all the kids and mama will be in here then we have we'll be able to enter the back half of the goat pen the kidding pen through the skate there will be pallets on this side closing in and of course through the breezeway you can get out that way and so can the goats here's our stalls we have four pretty neat the way they did it because we have some uh goats that are actually a lot bigger than others that we didn't know would fit in here especially if they had twins or more so what they did was they cut these pallets in half. These pallets move up and down. And you can take this out and make a big stall. Or you can open the door, right? We're going to fasten it to this. And because we will have pallets here in this area, this so there's two ways to actually uh, open these up to make bigger stalls in case we have triplets or whatnot. In the uh, shelving, I mean, in the pallet area that we're going to put here, and it's basically to keep the sun out of the stalls, uh, you notice that the pallets here have a area here with nothing on the back. That's a good place to put boards across there and create shelving areas for things like our kidding supplies. So that's gonna come in handy. Also, we're going to go with chicken wire around the bottom one and we can stuff it with alfalfa because obviously uh, mamas need more nutrition. It's pretty neat. We didn't, we weren't able to afford, obviously, a whole, uh, what do you call it, homestead with animals and, and all. Because you can homestead and you don't need home animals. You can source out your meat locally. So, um, there was a couple at church that their season of homesteading had, um, you know, it stopped for a season. They're hopefully it'll start back up, but um, they know that God has something else for them. And so... Uh, I'd been praying about a homestead and uh, the animal part of it and you know uh, the Lord blessed us with it with at a reasonable cost and they're working with us so we are just cannot tell you how blessed we are the Lord also supplied these pallets my um, like 60 something pallets and even more we can get more to obviously we use lots of pallets the front of the goat and the female goat enclosures pallets and also, if you look right here, you can see little pallets sticking out. We do use it on that too. And obviously, this door, because we ran out, ran out of that resource, is also pallet. So, like I said, alfalfa, we can hang their feeding buckets and whatnot. And that came through uh, my um, aunt, my cousin's sister-in-law mother so uh yeah their company supplied us with lots of pallets and we can um well you can't see them right now my greenhouse is in the way but 
we have plenty of pallets to work with in between the chicken coop. These are chicken coops. And you have to excuse the mess because we are in the process of getting them settled in as far as like uh, my cousin and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law. And so uh, we have rabbits. We put this up just temporary just to keep the sun and the wind when it rains off of them this way. But here they are. And then our other chickens over there. We'll get all this cleaned up and this will eventually be a fence. We'll go here as a chicken run from the goats to the barn. Show you the front of the goating, the female goat pen. All kinds of things for them to play with. Water container. If you go in, in the back there, there's a big place to lay and all in here. And then plus you got a water container. So there's that. I just noticed that I need to give them more water. These babies drink. Yeah. So, and then the males over there. And if you look, right there, you'll see the pallets. Of things to rub on. Yep, she's definitely pregnant. And they've been looking at us building those back there. Like, okay, we know they're for us. When are you going to let us in? So we're going to get that cleaned up and the fence put in place, that one little piece, and then let them go back there, the mamas that are pregnant. And we're new at this. Like, we have no experience. One thing I can say is the couple, um, that go to church, they, um, she, she is just helping me do everything, teaching me, you know, eventually we want to milk them, you know, and, um, she's just walking step by step with me as well as, um, checking on them to make sure they haven't given birth yet or whatever. And so just wanted to encourage some people and, and hopefully in a few months, this will be looking amazing and y'all will see it from the beginning to the end and I just am so glad to take people on a journey with us. Um, one thing I can say is we tried to buy a used tractor, uh, actually two, and oh, it was a nightmare on both times. So this time we were blessed with a new one. We don't really like payments. Everything we get we usually fix up or it's makeshift <laughs> and it works and there's nothing wrong with that. So now we got yard ornament. Okay guys. I hope to see you again and um I hope you like the channel. Like and subscribe.